Dun 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 <laughs> Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here today to give a little review on the uh, Airsoft Innovation Cyclone Grenade. So I held off on doing this for a little bit because I wanted to get some uh, actual practice experience in and uh, kind of, you know, not really see how I like it. I'm gonna say it's a bit of an improvement. I'm enjoying it a lot. So here's the old tornado grenade that came out initially. As you can see, it is a slightly more slender version. It does have a, pit, uh, a spoon and not just a pin as this one uses. And I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown on how to uh, take it apart and everything and what makes it fancier in my opinion as well as a few other comparisons to the Cyclone. So first and foremost, starting with all the new stuff, the uh, Cyclone Grenade has got this nice little top portion. The, uh, I guess we'll call it a firing mechanism or means of detonation is significantly more easier to use. And it doesn't use nearly as much of the uh, time uh, restrictive stuff as the Cyclone, so, or the Tornado. My bad. So the Cyclone comes with a little blue body cover. You can actually change it. It comes with a blue, uh, black and an orange one as well. And basically how you're going to want to set this up is the top part is a little uh, quarter twist and a pull and it comes right off. So what you do is your pin has your little safety latch here so you give this a little tug. This is actually the more tricky part so you might want to, if you know you're going to need the grenade in the near future you might want to get this uh, at least loose first. This is going to take a second. And as you can see, other than this, this is really your safety. So once that's open and you have free access to the pin, all you got to do Pull that on out and it's ready. So, spoon here, you probably don't want to throw the spoon, but the spoon mostly does is it covers the pin. Now this pin is what's going to drop in and free the gases to actually detonate the grenade. So to set this, there's a little, uh, little plunger here that actually presses the uh, gas free. So it pushes into there, and frees all the gas so it can shoot the BBs everywhere. So all you need to do is towards the front end of the grenade, press down on this, and forward slightly. You can usually do it with just this bottom part here, but if that doesn't work, you can use your thumb on this part here, and that will set that in position. So this will hold up here towards the front, and when it makes an impact, well, a little bit more than that, or when it's set, it works better when there's more weight to it. But basically, that's gonna, when it impacts, no matter how it impacts, it's gonna free that, and that little click right there is what's going to arm the grenade. So. Yeah, that's, um, that's all there is to the firing mechanism. Now, the old Cyclone, as you may have known from my Cyclone review, uses a four little uh, different little uh, metal disc ring setup sort of mechanism that tumbles to free this. So, without any little moving parts that could be lost, it's now just this simple spring and pin mechanism, which is still detonated quite effectively, as I'll be showing you guys shortly. So that works quite nicely. And once that's set, this is actually designed, as you can see with these little grooves, is actually designed either when it's neutral to sit freely or when it's armed to hold it in place so it doesn't explode in your hand and into your face. Woo! That's not good. Which is a bad time. So once that's all set, you just put the pin back through like so and safety clasp. Safety clasp can be a little tricky, particularly with gloves on, so just something to keep in mind. So, once that's going to be ready, we're going to move on. So the bottom part is where all the gas and the BBs are going to go. And this has also been streamlined, considering the old style was to use a uh, loader to feed, I believe it was 200 BBs altogether, 100 in this tube, and 100 in this tube. Which can take a while because they're fickly angled and they're not always going to load properly, you're going to spill some BBs. It's going to take you a few minutes. So anyway, as of this part here, all you do is you, again, quarter inch twist, and you lift this up. And a thing to keep in mind here immediately is you'll notice there's this tiny nub on the inside here. Let me see if I can get a better view of it. Yeah. So you've got this tiny nub that protrudes. Actually, I can't see it well on my display screen, but it usually comes up better on video. So that little nub there needs to, at all costs, line up with the nub located right here. So basically you get that little twist, set that up, line up the nubs, and a loop line. So as you can see, this was detonated not too long ago, which is the footage I'm going to be using to show you how the uh, actual impact looks. What you're going to want to do, I actually haven't oiled this since then, so here's a great chance to do it. You come with your viscous grenade oil, which don't use for a gas blowback, too viscous, but you use it for the grenade, and you want to put one drop. It recommends you put two after every detonation, but one drop will work. Just yeah, one drop's usually pretty good, and that's mostly to keep this uh, the seals in place, because if you're using propane or HFC, you know. 
So anyway, once that's in place, all you want to do is you want to press this down and seat it. It doesn't need to be too far in, just enough to sit comfortably. And as you can see with these numerous chambers, let's see if I can do it without spilling, yeah, there's actually still a few BBs in there. When you detonate it with propane or HFC, it works with either or, it's going to spray BBs everywhere. However, it will not spray every last BB. So it's going to leave maybe 30% of the BBs in, so you can just uh, re uh, re-oil and gas it and give it a second go. You won't get as much dispersion per se, but that's yeah, the fastest. You can basically use it twice. So... Yeah, so once it's all set here, what you're going to want to do is carefully, this sets pretty much, and there's a specific spot to set it from, but it'll catch naturally, and you just twist it. And yeah, now your set pin is in place. And once that's set, it'll push this ever so slightly, and that will be your chance to gas it. And with it nice and gassed, actually it's pushing, pushing out right now because I have the pin free instead of locked and primed. So yeah, it's pressing down a bit because it wants to shoot gas everywhere. But when it's actually set, it's not going to be a problem. It'll sit just fine. From there, you take your BB. You already don't need to use the little tube funnel thing. You can just open it and just <laughs> BBs. You're set. So that's a really nice addition for loading. Then gas, and you're ready to go. Then again, like I said earlier, take your nub here. You find the nub latch there. Put nub to nub. And like magic give it a little twist and it's ready so that's all that goes into the cyclone once you have that set it is ready to go just uh, pull the pin take the spoon off put them both in your dump pouch because you don't want to lose either of these you will not have a good time i mean you can still use the grenade without them that's the cool part however the grenade could also detonate on any slight jolt or impact so Woo. that's not good grenade's not really your friend but at least it's impact and not timed. So, yeah. Now, an interesting thing I noted is that the spoon, it's not the uh, the most durable plastic I'm gonna see. Actually, it's pretty good. It looks like the weak point's gonna be up in here, but with the way it's set, you can Vietnam style launch, uh, put a grenade into your molly on your vest or plate carrier, whatever you're using. So that's pretty cool. I saw one dude hang it off of a, his uh, carabiner off of his ring, or another dude had it on his Grimlock. Problem is it f rattles a little bit free, but still all you have to do is just pull it off of the vest and everything, so. Kind of cool. It gives you some options. It will fit in your uh, average grenade pouch, or not your, well not your grenade grenade pouch, but your uh, flashbang pouch or anything small like that, a small utility pouch. Now another difference is that the... Tornado actually has a steel inner core and is designed for an absurd amount of abuse and durability Which is why I think they were what some Russian players are showing a caboose about well actually were like throwing this through entire uh, like Warehouses and just As hard as they could just Take off flying and yeah, it's durable enough to survive that I mean as you can see there's a little bit of dents and damage here from me throwing it against uh, hard objects and generally getting yelled at for playing a bit too aggressively with grenades. Sorry, I'm working on it. I'm working. I like to throw grenades. I'm not into the whole little gentle toss thing. It's no. I'm getting better. I am getting better. There's the times I'm like, oh, right. Just taught gentle love. So that's mostly for Japan anyway. If you're in the States, it's pretty much as long as you don't injure someone and cause a fight, uh, as far as I've heard. So yeah, so the Cyclone Grenade doesn't have any steel in it. It's all plastic. So one of the main concerns is the durability. As you can see, this is actually a little bit flexy because this is designed to absorb impact and not break. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of dents and stuff in the paper. So yeah, this isn't this probably isn't going to live as long as the indestructible tornado. Now for the tornado in the tornado's defense, I lost one of these in Ten Gun and it was missing from like six to eight months. Someone found it, and gave it to Jin. Jin brought it back to me. And it, I mean, it was dirty, but after all the typhoons and storms and everything that rolled through, I took it open, pulled it open, and all that was broken was one of the little uh, O-rings. So I swapped out the O-ring, re-oiled it, and it works fine. Again, although it does still take forever to load, so. Durability, near indestructible nature, which I like. My phone is nearly indestructible. It's the, uh, the G-Zone out here, well, the former G-Zone. It's the indestructible tough phone they got going, the smart version. So that's what's cool about this. 
And this one isn't going to be as durable in the long run, but it's half the price and yeah, super easy to prime and activate. So cool stuff. Really cool stuff to get a disarm grenade. So yeah, a lot of places are going to want you to take the cap off. So you're probably going to be wandering around with a grenade upside down with your cap free. So if it does detonate, it doesn't spray everywhere. But once you're in the actual combat zone, easy seal and set and everything. So yeah, um, I'm definitely looking forward to using this a lot more. Hopefully not losing this, although they do sound rather similar. So yeah, a um, few detonations. And that's what I got for you guys. So yeah, I ordered this one off of Evike because I think, I don't think Amazon has it. I know, I haven't checked recently, but yeah. So this was close to like 40, 50 bucks with shipping and pretty gnarly. So I give it my recommendation. If it's nice, especially with the little Molly thing, if you want to go hardcore Vietnam, but you might need a cigar to pull that off. Just, I'm just saying, so. Yeah, that's my review for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay sure everyone, and cheers. See you in the next review.